fellow tennis nerds, I hope all is well. Uh, this is the Dunlop CX200. This is the Dunlop CX400 Tour. The Tour version has been my favorite because it has a bit more power, a bit more spin, a bit more forgiveness when I'm defending against stronger players. What is the case with me might be the same case with you. I play a strong player like Nikki Daniel, who are there in my videos. Two examples. I need to have help from the racket. I need some power, otherwise their shots are too heavy. I'm getting pushed around the corners. When I'm playing players my level, I can play with pretty much anything. I can play with a 95 screen sometimes. I can play with a 98. So and this is depending on, on your style, on what kind of preference you have. 98 these days are more control oriented rackets. So this is a control racket. It competes with rackets like the Head Radical MP, the Wilson Blade 98. It has a 6019 pattern, so a little bit more spin friendly, not like the Blade 1820, which is more straight through the court. And uh, it came in, as I said in the video, you might have watched it, I did with Nikki. He wanted to throw it in the trash because it came in at a very low swing weight, 268 unstrung. A racket like this should be 290 I would say on strong uh, to have it a little bit more mass in the head more stability more power uh, so I did need to customize this racket I said it was very very uh, a bit flimsy uh, too light not enough plow through on the ball without the extra weight so there's a risk with this model as I've heard that it's kind of standard that it's around 270 swing weight on strong you add the strings this is hyper G round you add the strings, you add around 30 points, 300 swing weight racket. That's a beginner swing weight that needs to be higher. Uh, so I would I would advise you to, if you get this, to be open to adding some weight. I think that is important because otherwise it will be uh, not strong enough, I would think, to, to face any kind of opposition, any kind of weight on the ball. Overall, a good racket, but we'll get to that. The specs, 305 grams, that's blade territory. It has the 1619 pattern, so the more open pattern version. 27 inches length, which is standard, and 31.5 centimeters, which is 9 points head light. So on this racket, if you compare it to the Radical and the head, it has more weight in the handle, which is why the swing weight is, is lower. And uh, why I have added all this weight on, on the hoop. And it did, did help a lot to actually have the weight there. I, I think now with the weight, I, I really like the racket. I always like the CX200, the 200 series from Dunlop. It's a modern frame gives you power, gives you spin in a control package. Still, for me, a little bit easier to use this racket. This is not bad, but I just don't get the help that I think I need uh, to take my tennis to the next level. If I play with the 95s, for example, I have perhaps the most feel and, and the enjoyment on every shot. But when I want to compete and hit with good guys, I need help. Uh, so then this is probably even too low powered for me. But if you're looking for a 98, you're a player looking for control, maybe you're more advanced, so your shots have a lot of pace on them, you need to control that, then this um, 98 from Dunlop is, is a very good racket still. Uh, however, I talked with Beckett from Tencom on my podcast, he had a 262 uh, or something swing weight on his racket, and he said that the kind of the standard seems to be 270, and then it's a problem unless you are ready to customize your racket or have someone that can help you. Uh, but if you do, it's a great racket, works well. I don't, not sure why they went with that such a low swing weight. Has good slice, uh, like where the ball penetrates the court nicely. Not a high launch angle. It's all controlled, kind of like the CX400 Tour. These are very similar in feel and performance. While well, this one gives you a little bit more of everything, which is what I prefer. But overall, good stick for players uh, needing more control than they need power. Felix Mischke, I know, uses some version of this, whether it's the previous or this one. You might know him from Tennis Brothers, the YouTube channel and, and the podcast I've done with him. He likes this racket. There's no reason why you can't play with this racket with some customization. Compared to the blade, the new blades are pretty muted, I feel. So so here the sensation on impact is better. Uh, and the Radical, this is more in the vein of this, but I do prefer the feeling of the CX200. And that's pretty important for me. Like it's not as good as, as old school frames, but it's, it's somewhere in between a modern frame and old school frame. The Radical feels a little bit dead sometimes, although it's a good stick. Like they don't make any bad rackets. So it's a lot about the sensation you get from the ball. And, and this is good when it comes to sensation. If for a 98, 300, 305 gram racket, it's one of the better ones on the control side of things. You know, it does deliver a feeling of confidence when you play tennis, which is, which is what you need. I would consider it if you're a pretty advanced player or player looking for control. 
and um, you can generate enough pace and uh, to hurt your opponents or your opponents can't hurt you with the pace they make then this racket is great did add a lot of lead, lead tape as i said i felt like that was necessary so good to keep that in mind but overall i think dunlop rackets uh, remain good the six line is my favorite six four hundred tour is my favorite of the new rackets uh this one is is decent uh, but for my game not quite enough if you're looking for a blade or a radical and then this one should be on your list because i think this is uh, as good as them and might even be more to your liking depending on the feel you're looking for that's it for this video i hope you enjoyed it have a nice day and don't forget to play some tennis p.s check out all the resources the tennis nerd guide to racks and strings news predictions podcasts and whatnot on tennisnerd.net that's the hub for everything in the tennis nerd universe have a nice day now and don't forget to play some tennis